Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make seamless Instagram carousels using Photoshop. Let's go. So we're in Photoshop 2021, but this works for previous versions of Photoshop too. And we're gonna start by setting up our document here. So if we go down uh, to our new document section, we're gonna get this started. Now, the first thing you're gonna to need to do when we make a carousel is a little bit of maths. So the first thing we need to work out is how wide is our carousel gonna be? The way we do this is we work out the size of one slide in the carousel and then duplicate that for every slide that comes after that. Each slide is gonna be 1500 pixels wide and 1875 pixels high. What that means is, is if we have a carousel that's three slides long, then we would make that 4500 pixels wide. So we're gonna do the maximum that Instagram allows us, that is 10 slides, and that means it's 15,000 pixels wide. So we've got 15,000 pixels wide, by 1875 high. And then we're just gonna give this a name and we're just gonna call this carousel. So I like to have my artboards on, so I'd recommend you do the same. Uh, and then we're gonna click create. Okay, so now you can see that we've got this pretty long artboard and this is our starting base for our carousel. So the first thing we're gonna do now is go up to uh, view, down to new guide layout. And then we're gonna choose in the column section, we're gonna choose 10. I've chosen 10 because there's a number of slides that we have in the carousel. If you were to have five slides in the carousel, then you would just put five. So we're gonna do 10 here. So now you can see that this artboard's been broken up into the slides uh, and, and it's got the right sizes. The next thing to do is get the artboard set up so that when we export it, it cuts it up into individual pieces and not one long image. So we do that by going to something called the slice tool. So if you go over to the left of your screen, so this is a kind of like crafting knife here, Click on that and then we're gonna go up to the top here and you'll see it says fixed aspect ratio. And then we're gonna choose four in width and five in height. And then we're gonna click slices from guides. So now you can see that we've got these little slices here and that just indicates how it's gonna look when we export things later on. So we've got our guide set up, we've got our slices set up and now what we're gonna do is make sure that everything is centered in each of those slides. So we're gonna go back up to our view, down to new guide layout. And instead of this being 10, we're gonna double the number. And what that means is there's gonna be a middle point of each slide. So you'll see what I mean here. So we're gonna do 20. And so now you can see there's lines in the middle of each slide. This is gonna help us center everything later on. So click okay. And now we have an art board with our slices set up. And also we've got individual guides in between so that we can start to align things to that. And so now it's just a case of adding our graphics however we want to add them and then I'll show you how to export. So I'm going to go through right now and start adding a few things and then I'll show you how to export. So I'm going to zoom in. Uh, what I'll do is I'll get the background set first. So I just pulled up um, a gradient online. A great place to get gradients and other textures and other packs is toolkit.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. Great place for designers and creatives to get assets and textures and backgrounds and all kinds of things. So make sure you go and check that out. So we get that gradient in here. I'm just gonna extend that all the way across the artboard. And then what I'm gonna do is just add a Gaussian blur to it. Like that. And then I'm also gonna add some noise in the background too. Just a little bit of noise to kind of help um, reduce some of that blurriness. Okay, so now we have a background set. What's really cool about the way we've set this up is it means that whatever background you have, it'll be seamless between the slides, which is really important to have a good carousel. And now it's just a case of adding some text. So I'm just gonna add a title slide here, um, and we'll use just a really simple font. Let's go with Inter. So the reason we've got these guides in place in the middle is so we know that it's gonna be in the center of that single graphic. And then I'm just gonna go through and add some um, other designs in here so that you can see how it looks when we export.
Okay, so I've just added uh, just a few little pieces here just to show the seamless effect, but also just to show you what it would look like across a whole carousel. You can go in and add whatever you want. You can, you know, do smart objects and make things look really cool. You can add multiple photos across each slide and you can make it look however you want to make it look. Okay, so what we're going to do now is export and this is a really important part. So we're going to go up to file, down to export and then choose save for web uh, and you'll see in parentheses there it says legacy. So I click on that. Uh, you'll see on the top left, we've got these little selector tools. Just click on the slice select tool there. Then we're going to go to original. You can choose other options. You can choose to have it optimized or scaled up. Uh, just keep it on original so it always looks exactly how I set it up to be. And then we'll just zoom out just to make sure everything looks good. This is a great chance to just check over your work. And then we'll come up to the presets on the right. I just normally choose a custom preset, which is just a JPEG with 100% quality. You can come in here and choose whichever one you want. It doesn't matter really. And then it's just a case of saving. So if you click on the bottom here, save, then you'll see it gives us a name. This is the, the name that it starts with and it get, adds a number on for each file when we export. So choose whatever you want. It could be carousel, it could be the name of your file. And then it's gonna add an 01, 02, 03, 04 to each of those. And then format, images only, uh, and then default settings and all slices here. So click save. And then if we go to our finder here, click on images, you will see that this is now saved each individual carousel post as an image. So then once we've exported, all you need to do is send that over to your phone, throw it onto Instagram and just select it in order of how you want it to be displayed. So you can see here that it's pretty seamless. Um, and this means that when we're using a carousel and someone slides through, it just looks like one long image and it doesn't have like funky chop marks or kind of like unaligned stuff. Everything is aligned and looks perfect. So there you have it, making carousels in Photoshop has never been so easy. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. It really does go a long way to helping this channel. Let me know in the comments what carousels you're making and tag me on Instagram as well. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this to come and I'll see you again soon.